Hi guys, um, Jeremy here. Uh, I've never really made any vlogs before and this is going to be my first vlog ever. So today's topic I'm going to talk about is Create Film's recent video uh, about how local Singapore YouTubers are being paid. I'm going to be straightforward and I'm going to tell you guys what do I think, okay? Number one, uh, there are two types of different YouTubers in Singapore. There are one type like Create Films, um, Letterel, uh, and Popo, etc. who actually speaks the truth. And what do I mean by the truth? The truth is like, what do they think? Like, they see something wrong with this, they say it straight out from the heart. They don't go one round and then tell you all the rubbish, nonsensical shit that you guys want to hear. But the problem with most Singaporeans, okay, I repeat, most Singaporeans, is that they cannot handle the truth. Um, they rather hear all the lies that are nice. My god, that rhymes. Okay, enough with all that shit. You know, like, they want to hear all the nice things. They don't want to hear all the bad things. That's the problem with Singaporeans. And they are unable to handle the truth. And people like um, Create Films and Popo and Lateral, they get hated. They, they are called um, YPs. Uh, for information, you don't know why it's YP, it's actually called um, Young Punks. Okay, they call them uneducated. They call them abeng, they call them gangster, blah blah blah, so on and so forth. Okay, and they get hated for the truth that they say. Sing most Singaporeans, they talk behind each other's back. Like in front of like a boss, you know, their working boss. They like, wow, in front of the boss, they bootleg them, they like act until fucking nice every day. And then behind of them, they like, wow, fuck him lah, he treat me like shit or oh, why is my pay so low? You know, everything. Why, is, why does the government increase this, increase that? You know, why is the government setting up so many new rules, enforcing so many new laws? Why is my friend like this? Why is my friend like that? I don't like that guy, I don't like this guy, I don't like that girl, I don't like this girl. You know, but in front of them, they act as a different person. They only dare to talk bad. You know, they dare to talk shit behind them. But in front of them, they, no choice, they have to suck it up, they have to bully them because they are afraid. You know, they are afraid to say it out. They are afraid to voice their opinions out. And that is not what Creative Films is, you know. Creative Films, they are voicing their opinions out. They don't give a fuck who you are. They don't give a fuck if you are the president. They don't give a fuck if you are the boss. They don't give a fuck of if you are of higher authority compared to them. They say their points. They say the truth, okay. They truly just want to be themselves. Most of the films, everything, they just want to be themselves, okay. If they think of doing something, they go and do it. They don't try to listen to other people, you know, like, well, like, I want you to be like that. I want you to be like this, I want you to be like that. I want you to be who you are not. And the, and the thing is that they don't do that. Moving on, now I'm going to talk about the Jian Hao, um, Jian Hao, Big One, uh, Daniel Ron, and you know, the Lee Cross side. Okay, I'm going to um, tell you guys how I feel about them. Okay, basically, I really don't know them. I've never met them in real life. Okay, I'm actually not really there to judge them or anything. I have actually no problem against you know Jian Hao and you know Daniel Ron making their own catchphrase like the Lo Ye Mo Ye and you know it's like that and everything I have, I have no objections with that okay you can go ahead and do that I'm actually uh, you know okay with you doing that because at least you come out with your own catchphrase you don't use other people's catchphrase you know you see people like Daniel Ron he always acts, acts cute in front of the camera he's like oh blah 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 shit and then the people all his um, subscribers all his fans be like oh you're so cute you know I love you and all the crap comes out. I like your hair and everything. And he fakes the and he go and fakes the Malay accent to get attention and every shit. And people like Jian Hao, he fakes his Hong Kong accent. You see, his Hong Kong accent is like overused in most of his videos. Most of his videos come out the Lo Yan Mo Yan. Most of the videos they come out the Hong Kong Chinese accent. And people like Big One and Dikosh, they are the ones which I really fucking hate the most. Why? Why do I hate them the most? Look at Big One. He calls his followers his he calls his fans the Big Wannabes. What kind of name is that? You treat your fans like some dirt, trying hard to grow up to be exactly like we want. That's what you mean, like. we want to be like. If not, what else can you mean? You, like, it makes your fans sound like they have no life at all. Can't you think of a better name to treat your fans and anything? And really, your fans really are a bit dumb, like, like to be called we want to be. I'm proud to be a we want to be, blah blah blah, all the shit. Like, seriously, it sucks. That name sucks. You should just do something about it. This is not the way you should treat your fans and everything. Everybody starts from nothing, you know? Everybody starts from zero subscribers, zero, everything zero. Zero likes, zero subscribers, zero views, everything is zero. And we slowly work hard and we slowly rose up here. And when we rose up here, the problem that is that we cannot handle the fame. We cannot handle being famous. That's the problem with, with most, you know, humans. Ah. When humans get the fame, they start to lose control of themselves. 
they start to become arrogant because when you were nothing you generate your own ideas you generate your own creativity okay nobody is there for you you just have to focus on your career the youtube career making videos everything nobody is there to judge you anything you just start from the bottom of the heat okay and when you slowly rose you start to change your attitude started to change people start to like you everything you start to become more sucky you know more sucky and yeah people like Tian Hao recently he made this post on he talks about um, how he doesn't care about you hating him no matter what you still cannot get as much um, likes on your Instagram pictures and you know so on and so forth and also I'm going to talk about is the local Singaporean YouTube community compared to the other countries um, YouTube community okay so basically the Singapore YouTube community goes like that okay Wow, that YouTube channel got a lot of views, got a lot of subscribers, got a lot of likes, everything. I must work with him. I work with him, we make one video together, I can get more subscribers, I can get more views, I can get more likes. Even though I don't like him, I still have to work with him because I want to be famous, I want to be more popular. That's exactly how the Singapore YouTube community works. That's exactly how it works. Okay? People have to suck it up to other YouTube YouTubers and work with them and to get uh, to get more views and everything but in other countries it doesn't work that way i don't care if you have zero views or zero subscribers or anything but if you have the talent if i need a singer and you sing very well you have the talent come work with me i don't really care about you know how many views you have how many subs you have that's the two different types of um, youtube communities in singapore compared to the overseas community okay and Actually, that you cannot blame us because um, that's exactly how Singapore works. Uh. Even in school, you see this guy who is slightly more popular, you want to make friends with him so that you can become popular too. And you know, that's exactly what is happening in the Singapore YouTube community as well. And no matter how much you hate them or anything, they still have to suck it up and move with them. You know, that's exactly how it works. But create few sites, it doesn't matter. I need you, you come and help me, we work together, and then both of us benefit. Create films won't work with people that they hate anything. If they don't like a person, fuck off. You're not going to be now view. That's it. I don't know. In the end, it's still um, the viewer's choice, the audience's choice. Um, will you co choose to continue supporting the Tian Hao side or will you support the Create Film side? You know, maybe leave a comment um, down below in the comment section about what do you think. What do you think about what I've said? You know, if you find what I've said um, wrong or if you have any, you know, uh, questions to ask, feel free to just leave them in the comment section below. So this is all the time I have for today. Uh, if you guys don't mind, maybe you'd like to share the video around Facebook video so that more people are aware of what's happening in the Singapore YouTube community. Sorry for the bad quality because I'm just using my phone to record this shit in my house. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, have a nice day. Peace.